The approach into and out of Kabul allowed little margin for error. Mountains surround Hamid Karzai International Airport and the valley is prone to bad weather. Thousands of Afghans on the field and thousands more desperately trying to get in. Nearby, a terror threat from ISIS-K. In this environment, Lieutenant Colonel Alex Palbath had a mission, the end of the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. Instead of focus on the danger, what, what all the operators do is you focus on the mission you've got at hand. So you focus on your individual tasks, uh, you focus on success, um, and you focus on, on doing your part of the mission as well as you possibly can. Palbath was the mission commander of the final five flights out of Kabul. He snapped this picture of another C-17 taking on Afghan evacuees. In the background, the cars and baggage and hangars about to be left behind. I graduated the Air Force Academy in 2001 and a couple months later, September 11th happened. So my entire career has been spent uh, with, with a conflict in Afghanistan and, and to see it, it come to an end, um, it, that does make a mark, I think. Pelbath knew time was precious. Every second on the tarmac was at at risk. And with the final troops loading up, the danger was at its peak. Major General Chris Donahue, the commander of the 82nd Airborne, was the last soldier to step off Afghan soil, the military says. Pelbath later snapped this cell phone picture of his own flight. Then Pelbath gave the order, clamshell, close the cargo doors. Minutes later, flush the force, the order to take off. I was able to see in front of me, uh, the first aircraft had just, just made their left turn, the second aircraft right behind them, the third aircraft had just lifted off, the fourth aircraft on the runway. I had the entire picture of the C-17 force in front of me, for sure an, an image that I will never forget. The five C-17s had been on the ground a total of three hours, he says. The end of a 20-year war was his final flight.